Okay, in five, four, three, two, one, burpees. Yes, feel the burn. You are the burn. Be one with the burn. Feel it. people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now, you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you. Now in today's show, a yummy little mommy wants to know, how did you get into shape after baby? What did you do? You say you gained weight, but where did it go? Sis, we don't see it, we don't lies now i'm going to let you know the full 411 on how exactly i'm keeping in shape after baby but if you want to send me any of your questions about being a mom being a boss being a woman then send them through to at on instagram look for this picture on my instagram stories highlights click on the little pink box or reply and let me know what question or scenario you'd like me to chat about in our next video now for today let's get into those tips and things i realized about but getting fit and staying in shape after baby now let me tell you the truth right this top that I'm wearing right now did not fit me after giving birth I tried to wear it once folded up my top put it on and then I got stuck like I kid you not I got stuck I managed to get the top here after fighting I was like you are going to fit you are going to fit and I pulled it and I pulled it and I pulled it and then it landed here and then I think I wore the wrong bra or something, so I needed to get it off. It was stuck. I couldn't get it. Look, now it moves back down. But after baby, it was stuck. It wouldn't move. So I had gained weight evenly around my body. A lot of things didn't want to fit. I was just in sweatpants, some leggings, and my husband's tops majority of the time but as i got back into my fitness regimen and my healthy lifestyle things started to go back into place i haven't completely lost all the weight i don't actually want to i like the new little booty my thighs are a bit there so i'm keeping in shape and in my new shape that's something that we all have to talk about mama you've got this new shape né? this new body this new physique that you got from having a baby you don't have to get rid of it all but you do want to get into shape you want to be healthy so getting into shape means different things for different people it doesn't mean going back and snapping right back to exactly where you were before but it just means that you're healthy and you're happy with the body that you're in now yes i did manage to get rid of quite a bit of weight i did manage to get back into some some pieces of my clothing and i managed to flatten the tummy a little bit more and there's certain things that i have done to make that happen now disclaimer this show is called how i do things right so this is how i have managed to stay in shape after baby some things may be a bit extreme but they will help you let's get into it so number one is for you to understand that this is not a short-term period thing right you can decide to go on a diet and what will happen is you're gonna bounce into it and you're gonna bounce out that's what happens with short-term diets you're gonna lose all that weight and then you're gonna go back into your old lifestyle and you're just gonna put it back on those big ass cheeks that you had when you're pregnant boom back everything that happened when you're pregnant the vi vis the thighs all of those things are just going to come back onto your body right and you know when i don't know about you guys but when i gained weight when i was pregnant it I gained most of it in the last month and that's why I stayed away from social media because I was like you guys don't have to know about this so it was the arms it was the thighs I had you know my back was a completely different situation all of those things and they stayed after giving birth you think that that stuff disappears it doesn't <laughs> it stays with you it goes away either you put it away or it doesn't and sometimes when you start breastfeeding women actually do start gaining weight when you breastfeed some women actually don't lose weight when you breastfeed so we actually go through this body changes all in a different way so if you want to get into shape after having baby it's a lifestyle 
this is not a short term thing. It's not an in and out situation. This is something that you're going to do and live for the rest of your life, all right? Or at least for the next 365 days. And I promise you, live your life this way, you'll love it. My number two is to get rid of all the enemies of progress. That's what my sister likes to say, you're an enemy of progress. If you're an enemy of progress, get rid of your enemy of progress. Now, sometimes, I'll be honest with you, you want to get fit, you want to get into shape, and sometimes your enemy of progress is your man. <laughs> he's right there and he's like, it's fine. You go work out. You don't eat ice cream. I will eat ice cream. I will eat ice cream on your behalf. I will eat dumpling on your behalf. I will have linguinas, oily, soaked, deep fried on your behalf. Don't worry, my darling. I'll eat all the chocolate in the world on your behalf. That man is an enemy of your progress. You need to tell him that, listen, it's either you ship up and you get in line with me and we do this together or you keep all your comments to yourself. Look, sometimes the enemy of progress is the person who's closest to you. You need to sit them down and say, listen, my love, I know you want me to be in shape because when I'm in shape, you'll spank my ass a little more than you are spanking it right now. So let's talk about this. This is something I want to do for myself and I know you're going to love the repercussions. So in the process, keep your comments to yourself. Eat your ice cream in the corner. Go eat your chocolate in the toilet. Wherever you need to go and do your unhealthy things, you must go and hide them just for me. Because trust me, let him know that if you get into shape, you're gonna ride it better. I kid you not, your thighs are gonna last. You're just gonna be here the whole time. He won't know what hit him. Number three is that you want to gas yourself up. You heard me. Now, if you don't know what gas yourself up is, it means that you must talk positively to yourself. Not just that, but literally you must just walk past the mirror and be like, yes, it's the man. Oh, look at that booty in chat came with the baby and you'd be like you know these new boobs on bed you know just make yourself feel good compliment yourself left right and center don't wait for anybody to compliment you tell yourself that you look beautiful if your mind is not there yet let your mouth speak first and your mind and your body will follow now you're probably thinking to yourself step one step two step three have nothing to do with food or exercise or anything like that what is this child saying trust me a lot of the things that we do in this world are a battle of the mind first you win here you win everywhere else. You start to exercise here. You feel sexy in here. You feel fit in here. The rest of the body will just start to shape up and ship up. Listen, you don't stop at point number three. You start there. So start telling yourself that you look beautiful. You need to love yourself irrespective of whatever size you are. Give me a second. Number four, drink more water. This is the point that a lot of people fight about. When you are breastfeeding, you need more water. When you're exercising, you need more water. So the average person needs two liters of water a day. You breastfeed, you add another liter to that. You're exercising, you need to add more water to that. Very few people actually get in their two liters of water a day. Now, when you're breastfeeding, you need to add that. This is also going to help with the milk. And even if you're not breastfeeding, the extra water is going to help you to actually cleanse your body of all those things that stick around, right? Your body is holding on to things it's not supposed to hold on to because it's dehydrated. And let me tell you, more water means better hair. More water means better skin. More water means better nails. So if you're not doing it for your body, then you definitely need to do it for everything else. There's so many added benefits. There's levels to this water thing. There's people who drink just enough water so they can poop and pee. Then there's people who drink enough water for them to just survive and be hydrated on their skin. Then there's water who, people who drink water to thrive. That's where you are. You don't drink water to survive, you drink water to, to thrive. Your skin looks like crap because you're not drinking water. It does actually help. Guys, I know that people are just like, water doesn't work. Do it for a straight month and tell me things haven't changed. Just drink the water. It's the starting point. And I'm telling you now, it's going to take you five steps further. Don't fight me on this water thing. God gave us water for a reason. Plants grow on water, hair grows on water. Let's just stop fighting this water thing. What did water do to you? Number five is to exercise. Get into action. Sweat, my baby. 
let the sweat just drip off your body i promise you you start exercising start looking at what happens to your stamina start looking at what happens to you in bed start looking at your butt start looking at your thighs the stomach will start to just go flat you could just drip water off it it will just fall off it will just it won't bump and fall off something it will just fall off that's what's happening when you exercise all right so what do you what do i mean by exercise i'm gonna say exercise and you're just like but no, but where how look so you basically want to get yourself sweating and you want to get your heart rate up and you want to start breathing deeper for 10 minutes a day minimum 10 minutes a day all right so if you don't know what exercises to do there's basically three apps that i love to use in rotation app number one is the nike training club that's what it called yeah the night training club i use that quite often ntc and they have amazing exercises that start at the intermediary or beginner level and you can start using that every single day when you wake up now currently i'm on a 100 day exercise challenge so for 100 consecutive days i'm exercising for a minimum of 10 minutes a day guys you can fit in 10 minutes a day some of you poop for 10 minutes a day you want to try and fit in that 10 minutes right before you shower in the morning. It's really easy to just squeeze that thing in. Instead of picking up your phone in the morning, pick up your exercise gear. So get yourself a workout mat. It's about 250 Rand at Mr. Price Sports. And then you get on the floor. You don't need anything else other than that. If you don't want to use that and you want to start at a different level, I use baby to body, which is a mommy workout app. So I started using it when I was pregnant and now I'm using it after so postpartum and it's really helping me because they understand where i'm coming from they understand what i went through so i personally went through a cesarean and i had to go through some healing so this app has actually helped me to heal and still to work out at the same time app number three is yogaya now this is a yoga app which i've been using for about three years now it is a paid membership app if you want to get healthy guys and you want to get fit invest in it if you want something to work for you, invest in it. Don't be stingy. It is definitely worth it. So the first time I got this app, I did a 30 day yoga exercise challenge and my body was so amazing and I was so flexible. If you want this thing to work out for you, you need to show your man that there are added benefits to him letting you exercise so that he can be the one to say, baby, 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 zo, zo, zo go exercise yeah go exercise because he'll want you to stay that way i'm telling you look the benefits of getting into shape is not just you walking around and looking good naked and having a lot of energy so that you are always up and bouncing around for you and your baby but it's also the stamina it gives you and your performance in the sheets look i always link it back to this because you know the happiness of intimacy and physicalness with your man ultimately lies within the bed so if you are able to say all right my thighs can take it i can stretch a bit further my leg can go there you know these added benefits your man will be your number one fan he'll be the first person to pour you water lay out your mat and be like baby go exercise i'll pour you a bath when you're done he'll do everything in his power to motivate you if you can see that he actually stands to benefit from this exercise thing number six is food and this is the hardest part for a lot of people. Personally, I'm vegetarian and I have been for the past five years. When I was pregnant with the baby, for some reason, this child loved every single piece of a chicken. The livers, the wings, she just wanted chicken. I obliged. I was like, fine child, you want chicken? I give you chicken. So every day I eat chicken livers. Day in, day out, chicken livers. From anywhere, any place, cook them myself, whatever it is, I just ate chicken livers. So for that period of time, for those about six months, I was not a vegetarian because this child was demanding chicken. A lot of us don't know what we're putting in our bodies, right? We really don't know. We don't know what's happening with food. So my advice when it comes to food, don't just Google a diet. Like I said, this is a lifestyle. Don't just say I'm switching to being vegetarian go see a dietitian. It's actually really affordable to have a consultation with a dietitian. Your life will change. Your eyes will be opened to the fact that you knew about food. Number seven, sleep. 
You're a new mom. New moms like to make excuses that the baby doesn't sleep and things don't happen. Sleep. Get your baby into a routine and sleep. My baby sleeps for 12 hours. She sleeps from 7 to 7. Sleep. So during that time, have your cuddle time with your man. Have your work time wherever it is. But get yourself that 7-8 hours of sleep time. You think that it's only people on TV who sleep for eight hours. Other people sleep for eight hours as well. I sleep for eight hours. That's why my skin looks good. Eight hours of sleep. It's called beauty sleep for a reason. Sleep, my darling. Don't use your baby as an excuse. If you need to get your baby to sleep through the night, work on it. Find out what you have to do to get your baby to sleep. Work out a good nighttime routine so that by the time you finish washing your baby, the baby goes down for sleep and you can sleep throughout the night. Even if you have to wake up once or twice a night, it's fine. But try and get as much sleep as you possibly can. Number eight is something that you want to do for your sanity. And I do this for my sanity as well. I stopped getting on the scale. That thing is the devil's work. It will literally just make you go crazy and make you think to yourself, nothing's working. This is just a lie. I might as well just give up. I might as well just throw everything away the scale will kind of lie to you. So your body will gain and lose weight in different ways, right? So there's water and muscle mass and all these complicated explanations of where the weight is in your body. I judge from my clothing. How does my clothing fit? Especially the things that don't stretch. Am I able to close my jeans and my pants the same way around my waist? Is my top fitting the same way around my arms? Things that are tight, do they fit the same way? Are they stretching? Do I feel loose in certain things? I judge from my clothes and I try and judge from clothes that I've had for a while. So instead of going out to say, okay, I was a size 32, I'm gonna go buy something that's a 32 and see if I still fit, that won't work. Take whatever's original in your wardrobe and wear it. Don't take something, you know those special pair of jeans that you put at the top saying, one day I'm going to fit into you again. Every woman has that pair of jeans. Throw those things away. Number nine, and this is my last point, and I always get to the best point last, right? La ta di bendi. Throw away the panties. Let me explain. We keep ugly panties in our life. And we need to throw them away because they make us feel bad. Everything that's an ugly panty is anything that makes you feel bad. Throw it away. Even if that's friend that makes you feel bad, throw it away. A good place to start is with your panties because you have 100% of your panties. Which underwear is torn? Which one is faded? Which one just makes it look like you are just scraping in the dust? Throw those ones away. Only keep what makes you feel good. Then move on to your clothing. Don't have clothing that makes you feel bad about yourself. Put it away. Give it away. Don't have it. You only keep things that make you feel good. Then you move on to your towels, your sheets, and then you start to look at the relationships that you have. Are there relationships in your life that are making you feel gak? Throw them away. Are there people you're following on Instagram that make you feel nonsense? Throw them away. Boomers bounce back that have these extra small the waist is smaller than what it was before they gave birth. If they make you feel bad, throw them away. Unfollow them. Do things that only make you feel good. I'm very serious about this point. It starts with your bendies. You know why? Because you can't tell what bendies I have on now. I've got good bendies on and they make me feel damn good. So you must also have good bendies on. Start with the inside and move to the outside. Look, mama, you need to stop putting so much pressure on yourself because you are making yourself so unhappy. You need to understand that you are the creator of your own misery in your life. A lot of the times you can change whatever it is that you want to change. So if you feel that you want to get into shape, if you feel that you want to lift your bodice, then do it. You have all the power that you need to make that happen. A lot of the things on this list start with making you feel good. And then the two most important ones are food and exercise. Because when you sleep enough, when you have enough water, when you have people supporting you, when you feel good, when you exercise and you eat right, you will snap. Snap right back. But you need to start here. You need to be happy. You need to be in the mindset that, yes, I can do this. I'm a sexy drop dead mama. 
and I'm doing this for me. All right, so that's it from me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. And for all the mamas, I want you to give me a big thumbs up and a comment down below about what you think about these and how many of these have you ticked off the box. Now, until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shimange, and this is How I Do Things.